<laughs> it's a little windy this morning. Uh, I'm gonna head out and do a little hike and adventuring this morning. It's probably about, well, it's over an hour's drive. I'm actually uh, staying with my friend Christopher at his homestead here in Arizona. And uh, yeah, he's working today, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna head out there myself. <laughs> so, all right, let's go. <laughs> I'm on the Coronado Cave Trail. This is a really short one, but it goes to a cave. <laughs> so, this should be really cool. <laughs> wow. There's just a helicopter flying overhead. We are right on the Mexican border. I'm guessing it's a border patrol helicopter because I saw several cars on the way here. <laughs> border patrol cars, that is. So. <sighs> What a beautiful view here. Had to stop and rest for just a few seconds. <laughs> Whew, it's kind of steep in a few parts. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty much all uphill, so. But I think I'm pretty close. <laughs> so, all right. All right, let's get going again. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this place really is huge. <laughs> it's really, it's hard to really get a grasp of the size of this place. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to the end. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, there's a very cool stalagmite here, and up there is a stalactite. <laughs> oh, wow. This place is pretty huge. <laughs> This is a limestone cave, and it was formed about 250 million years ago when Arizona was covered in a shallow sea. And the limestone is from all the shells of all the critters that lived in the sea. And it seems like there's a really good layer of limestone up here, so that must have been a very, very prosperous sea. <laughs> a lot of critters living in there. So... So here is another formation that goes all the way up to the ceiling. But you can clearly see right here that several of these spines have been broken off. <laughs> so, I'm sure that was done many, many years ago. People have been coming here since the late 1800s. So, that could have been done over a hundred years ago. <laughs> Still beautiful though. All right, let's go. Let's get back out of here. I gotta get down. I wanna do one more thing. <laughs> Someone inadvertently left a little trash here, a Gatorade bottle wrapper, so I will take that with me. Not leave any litter in here. That, that was the only thing I saw though, so I think it was definitely an accident. The entrance to this cave is very steep. Like, you have to do some really good boulder scrambling to get in and out of here, so. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film that, but. All right, we're at the door. Let's head out. <laughs> so the entrance here is very, very steep. Just taking my time climbing up out of here again. <laughs> well, all right, it's all downhill from here. 
Well, and looking back down this valley, what a beautiful sight. This is a really nice place. What a, what a little jewel in the desert. <laughs> All right, let's get back down and do one more thing. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful day today. <laughs> oh, so gorgeous out. I'm thirsty. I did take my bottle of water on the hike, but I figured it was so short I didn't pull it out, but now I'm thirsty. <laughs> but we gotta head up the road. There is a overlook that I really want to go see it just up the road and then yeah then it's dinner time <laughs> all right let's go I did not realize that this road was not paved up here <laughs> And there's a few little rough spots. It's not too bad though. Oh wow. All right, it gets... You can see it snaking up this mountain here. But gosh, it's kind of gorgeous. <laughs> This road has turned out to be quite the adventure itself. <laughs> there is a massive drop-off right there. Massive drop-off. But, oh, I can see a tower up there, so we're almost there. Almost there. <laughs> So this is obviously the overlook and all the way down in the valley down there I am guessing that big black line is the USA Mexico border. Yeah we're right on the Mexican border here and it looks like there's just a tiny bit of a trail here so yeah let's go up to the top. It's <laughs> Not far. <laughs> so
So I started a hike up Coronado Peak, which is a short little hike. And I got not quite halfway up and um, my battery went completely dead. I thought for sure I had more battery in there. <laughs> so I had to come back down and go to the car and get my battery. And now I just don't feel like climbing up Coronado Peak right now. But the view from right here is absolutely gorgeous and perfect. So I don't feel I'm missing too much. As you may or may not have guessed, the Coronado National Memorial. Ooh, birds. <laughs> All right, take two. Well, as you may or may not have guessed, the Coronado National Memorial commemorates the Coronado Expedition that went from 1540 to 1542. The expedition was led by Francisco Vazquez de Coronado and really set off one of the major cultural exchanges of North America. And yeah, this is where, approximately where he entered what is now the United States. <laughs> Yeah, let's go over to this other side over here. Well, this is the other side. Oh. So Coronado Peak it's right there, right by the tower. And uh, yeah, didn't make it up there today because ran out of battery. But I'll head up there next time for sure. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta get back and I got something to do. So, all right, let's head back. <laughs> All right, so just picked up a couple things from Amazon. <laughs> uh, these Amazon lockers are a lifesaver when you're on the road. I'm so thankful. So I had to order a couple things. I will show you when I get back home. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the old homestead, at Christopher's homestead. I'm hanging out with my friend Christopher. And I'm gonna make a video about Christopher and a couple other, or at least one other, of the homesteaders here in Wilcox. But <clears throat> you're probably wondering what I picked up from Amazon. So I got a ND filter and a step-up ring. Uh, yeah, if you know what that is, 
you're a photographer or something. And, and I got this big piece of metal. Yeah, actually I got two big pieces of metal. This is one of two. The metal pieces are part of a secret project I'm working on right now. A super duper secret project, which may or may not involve a massive lift kit for the Honda. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got a big huge salad and yeah, I'm gonna just eat this whole salad because I'm hungry from that hike and everything climbing down in the cave. <clears throat> so yeah, all right. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>